everyone. I feel much delighted to start the very first poem from English textbook. What's the title of the poem in the sense? Once upon a time, which is written by Gabriel Okara. What's the title of the poem? Once upon a time, which is written by Gabriel Okara. See, before we enter into the poem in a detailed way, we'll always justify the title first. Once upon a time. Actually, this particular word, once, when we'll use that particular word, once. Let me go with an answer. See, if you want to convey anything about the past, for example, once upon a time, we were being like that. See, if you want to convey, say something about the past, we'll always use that particular word, once. And what the title says, once upon a time. It which means that at some point in the past understood and you may have the question in your mind see it is all about the past and what the poet has conveyed about the past it is nothing but the attitude of the people who are being there in the past as well as in the modern times okay have you understood children so it is nothing but the people who were there in the past as well as the modern times and then one more thing i want to convey this poet gabriel lokara actually he has written this poem at the time of independence of nigeria yeah. Understood. Nigeria got independence from Britain and before independence, the people were very sincere, they were very truthful and they were leading a kind of genuine life before independence. But after independence, slowly they have started to uh, uh, what is it, enter into the western uh, side of life and each and everything, their moral values, their attitude, their behavior, everything became changed. So, he clearly picturized the attitude of, uh, of the people who were there in the past as well as the present scenario. Understood. How about the Western uh, culture has made an impact in their life, created a kind of impact in their life that he picturized. And uh, see, before we enter into the poem, we should always appreciate uh, the one who is responsible for the work, Gabriel Okara. Okay, it is none other than Gabriel Okara. See, Gabriel Okara, he belongs to Nigeria and he was born in the year 1921. He has written poems as well as novels. He is being as a poet as well as the novelist. And then his uh, one of the poem, notable poem, uh, what is the title of the poem in the sense? The Voice of the uh, River Nun. That is, I'm sorry, man, the Call of the River Nun. That has become very famous among the readers and it has received a kind of award also. And then his uh, first novel actually, first novel, uh, it is The Voice actually that he has written and that also also became famous in that time and uh, not only that apart from poem as well as novels he has given two books exclusive for children also what are the two books in the sense the little frog and little snake and an adventure to juju island these two works also uh, uh, for children he has given he has written two books for children understood so it is all about gabriel okara and the title also i have justified now we'll move on to the poem stanza wise line by line explanation we'll move on with shall we go on with the first stanza of the poem okay let me read out you just have a glance see once upon a time sun once upon a time sun they used to laugh with their hearts and love with their eyes but now they only love with their teeth while eyes block cold eyes search behind my shadow. And uh, before I enter this particular first stanza, I want to say, see here, who is narrating the poem in the sense, Gabriel Okara, he assumes himself as a father, understood, he assumed himself as a father, as if he is talking to his son, how a father will talk to his son, the same uh, manner he has picturized this whole poem, understood, that is why we have seen even the title, Once Upon a Time, it is like a story kind of story uh, uh, how the story will be narrated by a person the same way he is narrating towards his son being as a father understood then we'll enter into the poem now once upon a time son once in the sense here it was the time son it was the past my dear son they used to laugh with their hearts here they in the sense here they refer to the people who were there in the 
past. They refer to the people who have been there in the past. How we will come to know in the sense, see, just look at this particular word used to. Used to refers the past actually. So, people who have been there in the past, they laugh with their hearts. They are performing a kind of action. They are laughing off. How they were laughing off in the sense, they have done that action from heart. They have expressed a kind of genuinity when they do that action. Action. And they laugh with their eyes. See, when they are performing the action, when they were performing the kind of action, not only their heart, uh, see, emotions, along with, uh, see, when they laugh, their eyes also getting involved in that, which means they are doing that from heart. Okay, they are projecting a kind of emotions and expression, okay, genuinity, they are, uh, they are expressing of through, through their Action. Action here it refers laughing. Understood. And but now, now means here the people who are being at the present time, okay, in the present world, modern time. Here, this they here refer to the people who are being there in the present world, modern times. And see, but now they only love with their teeth. See, he, he has given a stress, a kind of stress, only, only love with their teeth. See, they are also performing the same kind of action. They are laughing, but only their teeth are getting responded. See, only their teeth is performing the action, which means that the emotions, the genuinity uh, are lagging off in their actions. Which means they are not genuine. They are expressing a kind of falsity through their actions. And then, while eyes block cold eyes, search behind my shadow. Eyes block cold eyes. Here you have to see this eyes block cold eyes. What it conveys in the sense lagging of warmth and endearing expression. That is why already I have given only the teeth is getting responded. All the other cases, eyes, heart, uh, these two areas and all not uh, involved in that particular action. So they are not doing that and it is lagging off. Off. That is why eyes block cold eyes. That expression through their eyes, they are not exhibiting, it is lagging off. And then, search behind my shadow. Search behind my shadow. Wow. According to the poem, what it conveys in the sense, it means people are hypocritical, which means that they do not say what they mean. Okay, they are always being off in such a position. They are expressing something, but what they are having inside, that is that they are not expressing off. What they are mean, they are not expressing. They are not behaving so. Okay, they are hypocritical. Understood. Search behind my which means that they are not seeing me what I have inside me. Okay, they are searching always behind my shadow. Some other thing they are expecting from me. Apart from my qualities, they are expecting something. Okay, they are not being true. Okay, they are expressing their falsity. Which means that. Understood. So far, have you understood children? The first answer. Okay, see used to in the sense it refers to the past. So here they in the sense the people who are there in the olden times. And then here now in the sense at present it denotes. So people who are there in the here this uh, the particular word they refer to people who are there in the modern times. Who are being there in the modern times. And then all those things we have seen. Then two, uh, one action is being conveyed. Okay, well, what action here referred in the sense laughing. Okay, that laughing is being projected by Gabriel Okara. Then next stanza, second stanza. There was a time indeed, they used to shake hands with their hearts. But that's gone son, now they shake hands without hearts. While their left hand search my empty pockets. Then again, there was a time indeed. Here, he wanted to emphasize. Indeed, in the sense, he is emphasizing, stressing the same point, what he had already started with. So, here he is giving a kind of stress, emphasizing. What he is emphasizing? That was the time, again he is telling, again he is emphasizing the same point, the first line. Okay, then, they used to shake hands. The next action is being conveyed by the poet here shaking hands they are shaking they they used to shake hands 
with the hearts again they are doing their action from the heart they will do that action when they shake hands when they appreciate for somebody okay for on something they will do that from heart and then but that's gone son that thing and all nowadays it has been disappeared it has gone already my dear son which means that in present world they are not following all those things they are not being so how they are now at present now they shake hands without hearts how they are doing they are performing an action which means shaking hands but they are not doing that from heart what they are doing if they are appreciating somebody they are not doing that from heart only the outer part for name sake they are performing that action falsity they are they are exhibiting through their action see now they shake hands without hearts not only that while they are left hand search my empty pockets see when one hand is doing performing the action another hand which is being off which is searching off my empty pockets which means that whether i am really wealthy whether i am being all sort of uh, see they are evaluating the worth of me which means that they are not showing any kind of reality in their actions one hand is doing that action another hand is uh, searching my pockets they are evaluating my strength how about i am how wealthy i am all those things they are uh, seeing of which means uh, by seeing my uh, status they are uh, giving a kind of a response okay they will behave so understood nowadays people who are there in the present world have you understood two actions so far we have seen one is laughing and then second one shaking hands okay people who are there how they have behaved so and how they are in the present world both the things they have uh, we have seen okay the poet has been conveyed then the third stanza okay third stanza feel at home come again they say and when i come again and feel at home once twice there will be no thrice for then i find doors shut on me which means that whenever if if they see and the people who are in the present world how they will behave in the sense if they happen to see anybody they'll always call them to come to their home just come come to my home they'll always call them to visit their home just come to my home feel that the home is your home in such a way you have that thinking in your mind. you see, you feel in such a way and visit my home once if they are visiting in the sense it is being allowed then second also they'll allow and third time if the same person is visiting the house in the sense uh, third time then i find the door shut on me which means that they never shut the door they are not ready to welcome the same person again third time which means they are not even ready to welcome them from heart just for name sake only the word alone they have given as a promise just visit my home come and uh, visit my home likewise they have mentioned okay only uh, for name sake they have called once they have uh, once they visit in the sense they were ready to accept but again and again if they are doing so third time if they visit in the sense the doors are not shut on them because they are not ready to welcome okay from heart they are not ready to receive the same person if the person visits third time thrice okay understood children so far and then next fourth stanza we'll see the fourth stanza now so i have learned many things son i in the sense here who is narrating the poem gabriel okara he is narrating the poem he is being in the position of father and he is narrating to his son so see all those things i have experienced my dear son so i have learned many things see people who are being there in the present world they taught me many things but how how i was i was when i was being young i didn't experience all those things 
once i grown up i am being there in the position as a father i have learned so many things from the society from the people in the modern days and i have learned to wear many faces see here light dresses and here this is light dresses in the sense like in the sense direct comparison here the poet has given which means a simile okay simile in the sense direct comparison like dresses see how the people say i have learned the high in the sense gabriel okara okay personally i have learned to wear many faces see how will change the dresses each and every time depending upon the situation depending upon our conveniency will change the dresses likewise myself also learn to change my faces okay depending upon the situation okay what are the faces uh, i am i am changing off see home face if i am being there in home i will i will have one kind of face and the office face if i go to office i'll change my face actually depending upon the circumstance the situation and street face if i go say uh, if i walk on the street sometimes if i happen to meet anybody i project a kind of face and then host face which means that i see sometimes i will behave as a host face cocktail face cocktail is nothing but mixed okay mixing so the so mixing of all kind of faces i project depending upon the situation mixing in the sense here a home face office face street face host face okay so many faces mixed uh, mixed kind of faces i will always uh, show it off i will change it off depending upon the situation like dresses okay how i will change the dress the same way depending upon the situation. situation i'll change my face also and then with all their conforming smiles conforming is nothing but not sincere okay all the smiles which i'm holding off that was that that were not being sincere but like a fixed portrait smile portrait is nothing but picture will have no how will feel in a picture the same kind of smile whenever we see that picture we can see only a kind of smile it is fixed we cannot change it off so likewise i have adopted a kind of fixed smile depending upon the situation so i i i have learned to change the faces depending upon the situation like dresses and i have decided to wear a fixed smile like the smile which is being there in the portrait the portrait is nothing but picture it is being fixed the same way i'll have a fixed smile and so that i have learned especially he is saying to his son understood children so far so all those things these four stanzas we have seen in this poem see uh, this for uh, this uh, in this poem see all those things uh, you could see a kind of comparison he has given off okay towards the people who are being there in the past as well as people who are being who are being there in the present scenario modern times have you understood children i hope you have you have understood the entire poem okay always keep it in your mind see here uh, you have uh, two sort of people in the same stanza see people who are there in the past used to wherever you are getting okay now in the sense here people who are there in the present time it denotes because each and everywhere you have that word they so you should not get the confusion they in the sense used to refers past now in the sense people who are there in the present time and i have expressed all those things uh, what gabriel okara has picturized in this poem hope you understood uh, this poem children thank you